Hello everyone. Today we will deepen our knowledge on neural networks. Last time we have introduced single layer neural network together with its notation. Neural networks have a vast amount of literature and probably the most popular machine learning methods in practice. So far we have covered quite number of machine learning models including decision trees and support vector machine which is a well used method in machine learning area. We learned the theory behind the methods and also their work in practice. You can see those videos using the link above. Let us start with today's topic. Recall what the single layer neural networks were. As you remember, they are the simplest architecture and have only one hidden layer. This means that we have three layers in total, input, hidden and output layer. We assume that our training data has P features, meaning that the input layer has p many nodes. The model builds a nonlinear function fx to predict the response y. Let us assume that our data has four features and our architecture has three hidden nodes. Then we have the following structure. We have four input nodes and three nodes in the hidden layer. Since we have a regression task, our output should be an output with one node. We have beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3 for the links between hidden layer and output layer. For the links between input layer and hidden layer, we have wij for each arc. Let us go from output to the input layer. The model calculates fx as beta 0 plus beta k times ak summed over k. According to the model, each ak is calculated as wk0 plus wkj times xj summed over j. Note that we have a nonlinear activation function g that is specified beforehand. Modern neural networks typically have more than one hidden layer and often many units per layer. In theory, a single hidden layer with a large number of units has the ability to approximate most of functions. However, the learning task of discovering a good solution is made much easier with multiple layers. This structure is actually a generalized version of a single layer once where we have multiple layers with modest size of hidden nodes in each layer. Let us have a look at an example of multi-layer neural networks with two hidden layers. Mimic the process of making predictions on a two-layer neural network structure. We start with input layers as usual. Again, we assume that we have four features in our dataset. Then, in our first hidden layer, we have three hidden nodes where they are called as a1, 1, 1, a2, 1, and a3, 1. Note that the superscript stands for the layer number. Then, the second layer comes with two hidden nodes. Likewise, they are called as a1, 2, and a2, 2. Finally, we have an output layer where we finally estimate our fx where x is the whole training data. As usual, we are working on a fully connected graph, meaning that each node in adjacent layers are connected to each other. We have beta 1, beta 2 and for the links between hidden layer and output layer. For the links between input and hidden layers, we have matrices w1 and w2 for each layer where each entry corresponds to links between nodes i and j. Let us go from output to input layer. The model calculates fx as beta 0 plus beta k times ak summed over k. According to the model, each ak2 is calculated as w2k0 plus w2kj times a1j summed over j. Lastly, each a1k is calculated as w1k0 plus w1kj times xj summed over j. Note that we have a nonlinear activation function g that is also specified beforehand. Last time we covered two of the activation functions, however there are multiple of them. First part of them are used for activation. The sigmoid function that is defined as 1 over 1 plus e to the power minus a j. The second commonly used one is tan h function, where the values of a j's are taking values in between 0 and 1 when they are used inside of the tan h function. 
second part of them are used for the output layers. We have three of them where the first one is the identity function. It keeps the AK value as same. Secondly, we again have sigmoid function that is defined as before. Lastly, we have a function called softmax. It's called as e to the power AK divided by summation of e to the power AJs over Ks. Today, we continue to present neural networks with advanced architectures. We also introduced the use of different activation functions besides what we have introduced to you in our last videos. We would like to hear what you think about our content. Thank you for watching our videos. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you're really helping us to grow. You can always ask questions by leaving a comment below and we will be happy to answer it. In our next video, we will cover backpropagation algorithm that is related to optimizing the network structure. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.